Good evening, everybody. My name is Dr. Bumanan. Today, I shall continue my presentation on the underactuated control design for lower limb rehabilitation. So, let's have some quick overview about that. You already know my objectives and things, my topic, and I shall quickly go through that. This is my schedule. I shall definitely quickly go for it. I have already presented all these things in my previous lecture. If you don't remember anything, just tell me where to stop and then I shall stop. Okay. So Uh, okay, so our today's topic is Walker models. This is chapter number three, and, uh, and today I shall talk about two models, Acrobot, which is uh, just a compass model, and Trilink Walker. So let me show you Acrobot. Um, this is an Acrobot. It is um, a very simple tooling robot, and the only actuator is. Uh, let me show you. Okay. Here, this is the, there is the only actuator. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is the only place where there is an actuator, and the rest of the things are, yeah, as it is. So, the Acrobot is a simple biped model that will be used to illustrate key points developed in later chapters. Um, in the passive bipedal robot literature, it is usually known as compass model um, or a compass gate biped. Uh, the model consists of two symmetric links with, uh, with a single actuator at the link connection point, which is called hip, as shown in this figure. In the swing phase, the model corresponds to that of Acrobot with symmetric links. It is very similar to the simplest walking model, except that the mass is distributed along the leg as opposed to being concentrated at the hip. Uh, because of its extremely simple morphology, this is not physically realize realizable. Um, um, because it has equal lengths of it has equal lengths of legs. The swing foot will scuff, and scuff means if you have both legs together, it will, at this crossing point, it will scuff, okay? So it prematurely contact the walking surface. Common argument for overcoming this, for overcoming this deficiency involves assumptions of small and retractable leg ends, which allow swing leg to be shortened enough to achieve ground clearance, like you Instead of just like that, you just you just tilt a little bit, or you imagine that your leg is very flexible when it hits the ground, it's bent a little bit. So that kind of thing is assumed. And nevertheless, this kind of robot model is very useful for further analysis. This will be all. This will always be a basic model. Okay. Um, yeah. The interest here is not the physical realizability, realizability of this model, but its illustrative utility, utility since it is the simplest model for walking, which satisfies the, all the assumptions which we have discussed. So, let's see its um, um, swing phase model. Um, yeah, everything is... Uh, Described based on, yeah, this one is better. So, you know, um, in swing phase model, we have some, in, sorry, we have inertia matrix like uh, DS, in which has two by two um, dimension, one, 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 two, 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 and two, one, and one, two are both equal. So, this is um, the well, this is our. Um, this is our uh, DS in inertia matrix, and this is our Corollius matrix. I'm sorry, this is not DS, this is uh, CS. So this is typo. I'm sorry for that. And uh, this model satisfies these assumptions. 
if you want to show see these assumptions, I can go back to that slide. Okay. Wait a minute. Um, okay. So these are the assumptions. Um, number one, um, robot is assumed to be uh, comprised of n digit lengths connected by n minus one ideal revolution. In Acrobot, we have two links and one uh, 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 joint. Okay. So it is planar with motion constraint to be sagittal plane only and bipedal with two symmetric legs connected at common point called the hip and both leg ends are terminated in point. So the, uh, it means that it, it does not have any foot. Um, the fourth assumption is that independently actuated at each of the n minus one ideal revolute joint. So we have one joint in on, on the hip and we have one actuator. And it is uh, unactuated at the point of contact between the stance leg and the ground. And the last uh, assumption is the model is, oh my God, sorry. Mm -hmm. And the model is expressed in n minus one body coordinates. So this is our last one. So let's go back to our previous slide. Oh my God. I think I, because I hit the next one. Yeah. Actually, I, by mistake, I. This one is bear with me. The stuff we are doing is really tough. So we are here. We, we simply know that these are all the assumptions of simple walking in a swing phase. And this is our gravitational matrix. So we have this gravitational matrix. Uh, just want to show you the equations. And this is our actuator model. Okay. So if you remember, we have this kind, we used to have this kind of equation. Um, can I see that? E S inertia matrix plus gravitational matrix plus G equals to B S and four. So this B is this one. Okay. So let me just remove it. Okay, and what is this? This is this this is um this is the space space from space, space space model, and these are the coordinates q one q two and Got velocities, and what is this? This is the state vector, and uh, q1, q2 belongs to the north pole, and for the state vector from space to the north pole. What is this? This is this defines the intermediate field. This is q1, q2, and q1, q2 dot. What is a manifold? Uh, if we have this one link, two link robot. Can you see that? Yeah. Then the place it covers in its motion from this is called its manifold. Um, not exactly, but it, but the end point, end effector from which point to that to to which point end effector can move. The whole shape, the surface of whole shape, is like a, um, is um, a manifold. And let me show you. Let me remove it. For example, um, this is our one link robot. So the surface, the this surface, is the manifold. And if we have two links. Then oh, this link can move here, and this link can move over here, and this link can also move from this direction and also from this direction. So to total, let's I assume that the length of this line and this line are not equal, and this one is uh, longer and the length is greater than f two. 
then it will be like uh, it will be like uh, this one and this one and this whole motion will be from this to this one so this is basically the all the stuff and so the point to the point to tell all this is this um, this is nothing but representation of manifold we can use it in, in a later discussion and will be very good and you see qs qs is an open subset of uh, the range minus point pi by 2 to pi by 2 and 0 to 2 pi because we have two links so one link has uh, has the range from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and it from 0 to 2 so this this range is multiplied and that's what makes us make it manifold do you have any questions you can shoot Yes, I also have a question. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, uh, so many words on the slash one have a right. One link have a minus i. And here, right? Yeah. One, one leg can rotate. Yes. Around. Yes, that is possible. This is um, this is not realizable. I say that this is not realizable. Only thing, because if um one link is on the ground, one link on, is on the ground, another link can rotate, right? Something like that. I'm not so sure, but that's what my intuition. Uh, that's what my intuitions are. These are my intuitions. Good question and really yeah. insightful. So let's go to the next slide. So uh, right now, uh, before that, we were discussing the swing uh, phase model. So now we're going to talk about the impact model. And uh, the impact model is something we see as uh, the same way as we start in slide three. Do you want me to show that? Yeah, that would be good. So let's go there. This is um, impact modeling. You see, before impact, now we are going to have this thing. Okay. Yes. And our impact is like impact modeling in this way. This, this Q is just before impact and also after impact and just before impact. And we have this kind of which is just before impact. And you know, this is um, rotation, rotation, So basically, it is simply showing that what will happen when it is Yeah. So let's just go to the TV slide. So this is our first, um, first member, which is this this is our second and the one is the then yeah sorry uh, denominator i shall show you this is a variable Det denominator not not denominator. and this is a variable and i shall show you in the end so this is the left and lc is the center center of that is a so that's what it is. Yeah, and both legs are symmetric. This is um yeah the tool This is too complicated, but I put it down just to see and understand how complicated the systems are, even for simple ones. And this is what you want to do. Very complicated, and the model is very simple. And this is that what mixed partial feedback generalized normal form does. The model was very complicated, but then we used these kind of things. We came up, we end up, we uh, end up with a very simple model. 
we want to let's let me advise you what is mixed partial feedback in the right now. So let's go there. Maybe for that, maybe use Yes, Lagrangian as a simple. Only use the uh, what, what is the uh, that kinetic energy? Uh, potential energy. Potential uh, energy. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's go So, uh, as I said, the, the model we're discussing is not realizable, uh, but this one is realizable. I shall. Mm, uh, okay. Oh, it's not a screen. Okay, anyhow. Um, this model is realizable, in which uh, the only thing is that it is a hard link. Yeah. Okay. This third link. Yeah. Okay. And uh, okay. Uh, I shall come up with what is the difference between this and this. But let's just know that. And uh, here the angles are absolute. Theta one is relative is absolute. Theta two is an absolute. Theta three is also absolute. And here all the angles are relative from this. Right. Oh my gosh! My system crashed. Okay, back. Come on. Ah, I hate that. Anyhow, um, three link walker is uh, shown in this figure. And um, like Acrobot, the robot has no knees and hence suffers from scuffing. Hmm, scuffing. Um, whereas the uncontrolled acrobot is known to possess stable walking motion, uh, that is asymptotically stable periodic orbits, when walking down a sufficiently gentle constant slope. What I mean is that if there is a gentle uh, and little slope, if you just uh, throw your acrobot, it will walk as in, uh, in a very stable way until or unless there is disturbance. It's like Automatically. Um, okay. Um, this robot model does not possess any stable walking motion without feedback control. This model, particularly. Um, the trailing walker provides the simplest example where torso stabilization is important. And um, a schematic diagram indicates the definition of analyzed coordinates and the mechanical data. Of a three link bipedal robot. All masses are lumped, the legs are symmetric with length r, and the mass of each leg is lumped at r by 2. Lumped means concentrated, no, right? Um, is this boring or do you want me to go further? Not, not boring. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to read it or you want to go further? Uh, uh, if, if, uh, if, if you must to read uh, that, uh, because I uh, understand the next slide, uh -huh. you 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 also you may go. Okay. Yes. Actually, uh, this is uh, just for the sake of completeness, and I think this, uh, these figures are self-explanatory. Right. I just want difference between these are the absolute models, these are, and these are absolute angles, and these are relative angles. So let me go further. Sorry. No. Uh, wait. Wait. I think if I use this pointer and with this link, um, it's gonna. It's sometimes. Some sometimes it sucks. Yes. Hmm. Okay, I don't use it. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this is our swing phase model for trailing walker. I just want to show you these equations and I wrote it down for the sake of completeness. Just have a look and note that 
This, uh, this is a state variable which contains theta at this moment. And all these equations are related to absolute empty. I shall discuss, I shall also present this ring phase model with a relative, but just have a look. So how these things are working. Can try. And this is Coriolis, and this is gravitational. And again, this is input. Uh, attached in input matrix attached to the um, torque. So um, now we are discussing about the uh, now we discuss about impact modeling. Here is this is delta and delta and R. It is going to shape like that. It, I think you already remember impact modeling. And this one is um, first entry. This is second entry related to that, and second and one, and then second and two, two. What is denominator? And of course, this one is three. Here is denominator. OK, this is three and one, two and three, three, one. This is three by three matrix, because we have three legs. And we have two accelerators. And this is denominator. OK, so um, we I just, just presented the model with an uh, with absolute angle. And we, we know there is a relation between absolute angles and relative angles. So this is the relation. And if we want to, because absolute angles are not practical uh, in, in, in the system, we always have relative angles. So it would be quite uh, impressive and useful if we model our system by using a relative angle. So here is the uh, inertia matrix, and then we model the system under relative, um, uh, uh, using relative angles. Here it is, um, again, continued, Coriolis. I want to skip it because these things are written in the book. Variations are also there. Huh? Continued, and this is gravitational matrix. Okay. You you also you also prove prove it. No, I did not prove it. But I just um um studied. I just studied it, and I and try to understand what are the meanings and what uh, uh what does each each equation mean. But the point is here that using this mixed partial linear. Uh, Mixed partial feedback linearized linearized normal form makes our whole system quite easy. So, uh, we must study about the Not exactly, because we have already discussed it, and we're just going to use it. But, uh, but um, we do not study about that. We, we, don't, we don't understand the meaning of the system. Right. Mm, I think um, to the extent we know, I think that is enough. Okay. The the uh, the total point is this: that if we don't if we don't use it, then we have to utilize all these inertia, Coriolis, and gravitational matrices. But if we use it, and um, but if we use it, we see that it makes our system quite easy. You see? Okay. Okay. Maybe. Uh... That is the meaning. That meaning is the uh, compensation. Kind of, kind of. Actually, if we don't use um, MPSL form, in a normal form, then uh, in mathematics, we are going to solve using computational devices like MATLAB or microcomputers, or what you. And it is going to consume uh, a lot of computational power. And if we solve it and simply which are uh, present, then it's going to make our life quite easy. You know that even for acrobat model, these equations are quite complicated. You mean that is only tool? Yes, it is only tool. So just use it. We don't have a... And so this is the model. So this is the end of chapter number three as for, uh, as for our problem.
So I want to show you my next goal, my next plan. Okay. Uh, this is chapter number four, and point, we are going to study point care, point care maps. Yes. And uh, this is very important, and um, because without understanding point care maps, we cannot prove, and we cannot understand the stability. And although we do not need, we don't need to use stability, but we must understand point care maps and their rules, so that we may use our um, these theories to understand stability and stability means safety for the patient. And uh, here is my plan. I want to discuss these two topics in the coming Wednesday. Okay, this is what kind of Stuff. So I will check with you. Yes, yes. And I also think that it's important. It's is our project. Yes. So uh, that that subject is most uh, important. We understand. Yes. This yes. is that we last week, yes. and we are going to use it to maybe. Uh, On eight seven. Okay. Yeah. And we uh, next week, I'm gonna present this these two articles. Okay. And then in the third week, we are gonna discuss these two articles. Yes. And I will actually be in Pakistan during uh, these two uh, uh, topic these four topics. So I don't know that I may be on that week. So one week is okay. uh, 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 if after you go to your hometown, uh, what is the time gap of mm. the Pakistan and Korea? Right now at Pakistan it is four PM. Four PM? Yes. So four hours before. Uh, yeah, so that, that is reasonable. That is reasonable. Yeah, yes. hmm. So, um, in, uh, in Pakistan, how are we going to present in Pakistan? I shall present you everything on Skype. Yes. I think that would be good. Yes. Uh, uh, I, will, I will tell you my Skype. Uh, yeah, that would be good. And um, this is my. As, uh, okay. This is my schedule. This is first week. And this is first week. This is second week. And this is third week. So, point your back. Very, very important. Very important. This is end of my presentation. Yes. Uh, Thank I you. have a one question. Yeah, the, sure, please. Yes. Shoot it. About your claim, I believe. Yes. You 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 tell me the one idea. Yeah. What 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 is the? Uh, yeah, I want to have the, the discussion. 